Sandwich a turkey link or something, man. What are you drinking for so early in the morning? It's way too early in the morning to be in other people's business. I swear to God. Like, what you want to do is be more focused on what you supposed to be doing. You know that? Did you even get the venue for Saturday? I told you a thousand times I got the venue covered, man. That's on me. I got it. The venue was good. Okay. Only because you told me you got it covered don't mean the truth. I ain't seen a receipt, a uh, uh, email, or nothing. You know what? I bet you haven't even took care of your part of the damn comedy. I've been had the damn lineup straight, bro. Who? Who do you got? I got Al Gur. I got Cheryl. I got my girl Cheryl. Bob. Wow. I got the lineup. Uncle Eric. Yeah. Uncle Eric of Barnard and Christian. This ain't no PG comedy show. Man, this is it's 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 a given. Bro. You joking, right? You gotta be joking. Well, I'm a joke for it. It's not a joke. Uncle Eric been funny our whole life. We want explicit vocabulary. I thought, don't you understand that? It's a nightclub, man. Only because he got a Bible and his Christian Mingo profile don't mean he's a Christian. It means that he chasing booty in the name of the Lord. You understand? You understand me? That's all. And then once I put a little <laughs> hand down in his sweet drink, his mouth gonna be dirty in a gas station bathroom, man. Whatever, whatever. I'll be out of here in a couple of hours. I'm gonna get my car and pick up my last check. What's wrong with your car? Leaking oil again. How you gonna get the way you get to? Who come get you? Okay. But first, before I go, let's address this little elephant oh, we got in the room. Oh, oh, we can't even have dogs in here. How you got an elephant in here? What are you talking about? I'm talking about whoever it is over there on the couch, dummy. Why you didn't you just say that? Like, are you talking about elephants, tigers, lions? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're done listening to yourself talk, don't you just tell me who that is over there on the couch? Because I know we agreed not to have no grown people over here smoking, drinking, or partying, at least until I get the custody of my son, or until you get little Chris home from juvie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we agreed on that, but this opportunity I couldn't let down. And you would've been mad as a woman if I would've let it down myself. Opportunity? What kind of opportunity? Listen, this dude was in the tank with me when I was waiting for sure to be a man, right? I heard him talking to the white girl. He is actually a descendant of the last emperor of Europe. 
Seriously, this is real talk. Illuminati take orders from them. Alright? Uh, they play golf with the first George Bush. Big fish with the first George Bush. Play and fish. Play golf. He can hook us up in the comedy game. Everybody in the rap game. Well, well, let me ask you something. Got Illuminati. Hold on, man. Let me ask you this. How much was his bet? Did you and Sheriff get him out? Oh. Dude, this big, I mean. $100. What? $100. But 150 and You know how it go when people can't contact people, people's phone was off. And so Illuminati can't contact people. His bail was $150. It don't matter what his bail was. Why are you so negative? This is your understanding. Negativity don't get us an opportunity. You understand? So let me get you straight. This opportunity you're talking about is adopting a white boy, bailing him out, and bringing him home to sleep on our couch. That's the only way we can get in. Everybody that rap, Illuminati. We can be the only people in the comedy game with Illuminati on our side. Like, have some kind of faith in me, man. Please. Man, Baldy and Joe Button. Man, can y'all be quiet, man? I'm over here trying to get some sleep, man. Y'all making all these noises and stuff, man? Wake me up when you make breakfast or something, cuz. Spells opportunity, huh? Yeah. Three words. Opportunity. Spells more like dumbass to me. You know what? Now I look at you, man. You, you kind of dark to be from Europe. Look, man. If I knew you was going to be a racist, I would never let you bail me out of jail, sucker. You know what? I ain't gonna let your black ass out of my sight until you get my hundred fifty dollars back, man. You ain't no damn Illuminati. Man, listen, man. When you in jail, you can be whatever you want to be. Just wait me up when it's time to well, rest, man. I can work and make it out for you and take it. Let me get the money made off me. If I can't work and make it out for you and take it. I can't work and make it, I see you and take it. Yo, society made me violently respond and react. Loud, never silently rounds coming out of me. Wrongfully accused of crimes I didn't do. Facing in my cell with some bars, call it my room. It's not a penitentiary, that's what I try to tell myself. Just a vacation, taking time to free myself. Any means of wealth, so my kids can keep help. Go in the bed hungry, I tell them to sleep helps. And when they eyes close, the beast in me opens up. Focus on currency, niggas is trying to move it up. No liquor in my cup, no weed inside of blood. No need for distractions, it's time to take action. Sis, what's going on, girl? Nothing much. Doing all right? Yes, you? Yeah, I can't complain. Waiting on Uncle Eric to come get me and to take me to get my car. Okay. Hey, I seen you on Facebook last night. Yeah. Who those girls you were up there with? Those my ladies of vision, sister. Ladies of vision? Yes. Hook me up with one of them. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I just came home. Don't you want me to have a good woman? Yes, but... Bro, you are too old for them. Well, how are you going to say I'm too old? You is too old. What about Jay-Z and Beyonce? That's like 10 years old. Nah, not really. It's just my nigga. Devil my nigga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Work, 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 work. I'm going to give me some work, work, work. What's up, baby? Steve. What's up, man? What you doing? I'm trying to talk to my sister right now. Man, know your daddy. Man, he just run up on everybody. Hey, I'm trying to talk to my sister right now. Can you? Can you beat it, man? man Can you get out of here, please? Can you throw me a bump? I don't sell drugs. How am I going to throw you a bump? I don't pay no attention to him, sis. Oh, These guys, you. look, don't... You come no. home from doing a 10-year bid, and you're going to come back to this? Sis. The same sis. stuff that got you locked up the first time? No, this he, this is Donnell. He ran up on me. You know I'm what? Legendary. Let this get out. It's going to break mama's heart. Sis. Feel like you know me if you're my little sis. Sis. I know you had the L trouble. I still want you to hook me up, though. Don't mean like you know me, man. I know you got it. Man, I know you got it. I know you got it. You got it. I told you a thousand times I don't sell drugs. Why are we going through this every day, man? I know you got it. Stop acting like that. Man, I told you I don't sell drugs no more, man. You just said it a thousand times and I just smoked a thousand dimes. You need to give me something. Cut I know you got it. Look, man, I don't want to hear these damn dumb riddles you be making, man. Riddles. I'm done selling drugs, man. man I'm out here trying to do right, man. You I don't want to deal with no people like you selling you drugs, none of that, man. You had all the work when you had the work. You went away for a little bit, 
the work they better with time. Give me one of them old ass dimes. Yo, man, stop asking me about drugs. Oh, Leave man. me alone, man. Why you acting like that? You gotta stop bothering me, man. Why you acting like I'm the police? Yeah, 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 I'm down there. You gonna act like that? You gonna give me a piece of crap? I know you got to work. What's up, Uncle? How you doing, nephew? I'm alright, man. I'm alright. You can't get my hey, hey, Come on, baby. Hey. I got a light already. Give me a touch on light. What is wrong man, with you, man? I, hey, nephew, I told nephew, you I don't got no. Nephew, I know you ain't back out here on the now. streets. This me. It's down there. Hey, you would think that being it's locked up there, for 10 baby. years would have taught you something. You know? If my sister knew about this, man, it would break her heart. Yeah, okay, I ain't messing with these fools out here, man. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is get custody of my son and put this comedy show together for this weekend, man. Get out of here, man. Wake up. Get away. Nephew, let me tell you something. I was not born yesterday. Now, yeah. you can go ahead and lie to me all day long. You can lie to people, yeah. but you cannot lie to God. Okay, but me. Hey, yeah. look, something. Something like it. Man, what is this fool doing chasing us? Ah, don't worry about him, Monk. Crackhead's crazy, but he'll give up after you speed up for a while. Nephew, I got something for you. Oh, thanks, huh? Never should have made it. Never should have made it. Seek first the kingdom. I could have lost it all. Seek first. The now I see. Never should have made it. Oh, uh, uh, body told Never me. Never should have made it. I'm stronger. Hey, on. Uh. Uh, Baldy Why told me, uh, Baldy told me you're gonna be in the Never show. Uh, made it. What you don't like my singing or something? You, you want another song? Nah, I, I want it. Nah, I'm really climbing up on the rough side of the mountain. Hey, uh, I'm doing my best to make it in. Uh, Baldy told me that you're gonna be in a comedy show on Saturday. Uh, you think you you up to that? Why wouldn't I be up to it? I mean, you got the the Matthew 6:33. You got the wrong side of the mountain. Never should have made it. I mean, your religion. Why would you want to do comedy? Hold up right there. So basically, what you're trying to say is just because I'm so loyal to Jesus, that it's wrong for me to get on the stage and crack a couple of innocent jokes. Basically, yeah. I mean, this is not exactly a PG crowd, huh? I don't think you're ready to be on the stage. Dude. Let me tell you something. Nephew, the Lord is my shepherd. And I jog through the shadows and lay down in the valley right next to death. Ain't it, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I shall fear no evil? Man, it's so funny to me the way y'all young heathens that don't even go to church, don't even know about the Bible, trying to correct me. I said it the way that it's quoted in the Bible. Oh, oh, watch out, he ready hit him, watch out, watch out! What the hell, what's wrong with this dude? I know this motherfucker ain't hit my car! Where you going? Where you going? What the hell you doing? Oh! Well, Darian, I gotta say, you've been doing real well. Ava told my superiors that you're gonna make it. I appreciate that, Mr. Chaz, Ma. I mean, I've been working real hard on trying to stay focused and get custody of my son and basically just stay out of trouble. Well, I'm glad to hear that, because guys who were heavily involved in crime as you were don't make it home and don't stay home. I agree, because uh, a lot of my friends I grew up with, I mean, they really just can't seem to change their ways. And it's not that I think I'm better than them or anything. It's just that... Uh, I feel like I have more to lose now at this stage in my life and uh, either we either see things differently or, you know, they just don't care. So basically, it's in my best interest to stay away from, you know, unhealthy contracts. Good, 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 because you came way too far to mess up now. Just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be fine. Well, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that today. You, uh, I've been on probation for like two years now and you even said it yourself I'm doing good. So I kind of wanted to ask you, what's the chances of me getting off of probation early? Well, actually, that's a good question for your new PO. New PO? 
Yeah. You just said I was doing good. Why would why would I need a new PO? What's going on? Well, you didn't do anything wrong. Actually, I got a new higher ranking position in another state, so I'll be leaving Virginia at the end of this week. Okay, so you're chasing the money. I, I got you. I got you. I can't be mad about that. That's that's good. Yeah, got to pay the bills. But uh, your new PO, he's a good guy. He cares about you guys. He wants you guys to be a good role model in the community. Oh, well, he sounds a lot like you. I mean, I, I feel like I should be in good hands then if he's what you're saying. Well, do you want me to go get him? Yeah, why not? Okay, let me go get him. All right. Uh, no. So, what do we have here? Another Negro case. Uh, da, 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 what's your Darian. name? Darian. Oh, Darian Freeman. Darian. I don't understand Negro parents. Why would they name someone like that? Uh, anyhow, let me help you out um, so I can, you know, get you better acquainted with myself. Okay. Um, what's your name again, sir? I'm Mr. White. Mr. White, Mr. Whiteman, Whiteman or White, you know what? Whiteman. Oh, White Man. Right. St st stereotypical. Negroes. I don't see you being any different. You just met me. Um, could you remove the gang paraphernalia thing off your head? What's that? What is that? The T on it stands head. for Tarzan or? No, ter terrible Tennessee Titans. Oh, so it's NFL. Just remove it. Um, um, and only speak to me when you're spoken to, and don't even fix your mouth to say anything until I tell you to talk. All right? Okay. Yeah. I didn't even tell you to say okay. Would you like to go back to jail today? No, sir. All right. And it, and it says here that you you have a son. Yes. How did how did you do that when when you're in you're in prison for, for 10 years. Before I went to prison, he was born, Mr. White. And you left the little guy hanging. This is why you're going back. Uh, uh, why, would, why would you say that? Why, why wouldn't you think that's going to work? I, don't, I mean, black men don't raise children. Hey. Mr. Chasmine, how does that mean? Minus is no longer here, Miss Jenkins. How are you? Good evening. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. Yeah, can you let me know when this is going on? Back in on You ever heard that one? Never heard of it. I heard it on the Negro station earlier. I turned it. But, um, mm -hmm. there's anything else I can do for you? Absolutely not. Just let me know when Mr. Chasmore comes back. I'll definitely let him know. Okay, thank you. But take a look at those back pockets. That Negro woman. What is this thing of the star that uh, that was that your uh, old probation officer put up here? What is this? Oh, you want to get off of probation? Yeah, I made a request the last time I was here about getting off probation. I just talked to him about request denied. Well, um, you're not going to um, fit the criteria to get off of probation anytime soon. Okay. And what criteria is that? Don't be a negro. All right. This, this is not very encouraging. I don't, point. I'm not here to encourage you, sir. I'm here to lock you up. All right? This what is bigger it? business. Business is bigger than, than average, okay? And as long as you Negroes are making the doors revolve in the penitentiary, we're going to continue to be paid. You remember that. Tune into the Top Notch 2.0 show, aka the motherfucking Takeover. Takeover. I'm taking over the day though. <laughs> As y'all can see, I got a special guest in the building yeah. right now. I got a I'm big show special. going on. Yes, he is. And I he... even rode a little bus. <laughs> he is ad living strong right now. I wanted to formally introduce him, but yeah. since he seemed like he's so hype, I'm gonna let him uh, go ahead and introduce himself. Go on and tell me. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My, my name, name is Baldy. Oh, I thought she was about to drop a hot. No, 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 I just, no, my I'm name, just, I'm 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 just, I'm
I'm a comedian. Thanks. So he is a, a local celebrity here, comedian in the 757. Yeah, do my little thought this way. Definitely doing do his thought thing. Thought. I see you all over social media. You definitely keep me laughing. I can appreciate that, brother. I, thank you for following me. Oh, I, definitely. I didn't even know you following me. I, I am following thank you, you actually. On, not stalking, but just following you. I like that. But I'm glad that you have came here to grace me with your presence And I appreciate show. you for even inviting me to your show. Oh. Well, you know your cousin Darren. I talked to him and he was letting me know that she was doing your thing. And I was like... Ooh. Cousin Darren, he was uh, telling me... I don't want to hear about nobody but myself. I'm the comedian. Talk about me. True, true indeed. Talk you know, brother, me. my bad. My bad. I wasn't taking away from you. I was just yes, letting you yes, know that you he hooked this interview keep, up. Keep, keep mentioning him. He, 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 he. It, it's all about you. I was just saying uh, that I spoke to him. Okay, you're still talking about him, but get back to me. Okay, so how about you let us know what you got going on? I am really rock on any block, but what I got going on is Saturday, man. We got a big comedy show going down. I'm the host. I want you there. Everybody, all your listeners, please come out. Big comedy show. Ooh, Humongous. Really? Humongous. Huge. I'm hosting. Uh-huh. Got my girl, Cheryl the Pearl. Uh-huh. You got, you got my Uncle Erd. Oh, so this is a, a family thing? Illuminati. <laughs> we got quite a few people. This would be dope. Definitely, yo. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to. Can I get on stage with you, though? No, you can't do that. I right? can't. I can't get on the mic with you. Pause. <laughs> Pause that. You know what your cousin uh, Darren, he was Wait talking about. Wait a minute. Like, she gonna be there? Yeah. Why do you keep asking about Darren? Well, you said it was No, it's about me. This okay. is my interview. Stop asking about him. I'm, I don't care about him. I know he's not a comedian. Okay. I just wanted to know if he Ain't nothing to know him. about Darren. I'm sick of it. Well, me and him go way back. I don't so. Y'all can keep going back and y'all can go back the way I came from. Well, actually... I've been knowing him since back in the day. I He's don't the care. Who... Ask me my questions. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank I'm you. sorry. I wasn't trying to offend you. you are, I'm, offended. Like I'm offended. Tension I'm going offended. on. I was just saying that Darian was the one who. Darian name again. <laughs> okay. Next. So right. um, I'm curious to know. How did right. you get the name Baldy? Oh, see, see. Right. Yeah, that's deep. See, I was I very like, curious. I that. like that about you. You want to ask me intricate <laughs> stuff. If I got to be honest. Uh huh. The name Baldy came from. You know what had happened? My hair was the same color as my skin when I was born. So they started calling me bald. That's your, it. So your family was calling. So that's the family name. Everybody. That wasn't the name er, you got from being er, a comedian. Everybody. Everybody. I can respect that definitely if you got that from when you was growing up. So, so did your old. cousin Darian, did he call Why you Why well do you keep asking about Darian? I, well, I, I can't, I can't, you know what? I ain't gonna be a superstar, a Kardashian or nothing. I'm sick of You know what, brother? Let's press pause for a moment. No, I wasn't no, trying let's, to let's offend you or anything. I just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just sick of it. Okay, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all tune in to www.euphoricvibes.com. Y'all can see us here in the studio as well. It seems that uh, my guest, he got a little fired up. He might need to take a break, take five. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a break. And y'all make sure y'all keep it locked and I'm going to keep it tight. Up. I still live on block on here. You know what? Okay. I look up to the sky, it's like the clouds of rain and ammo I spread my love and fog and roll a color army camo Flies trying to dodge you bullets harder than enamel I'm entering the needles, I own the back of a camel It's a desert life, smuggling cactus water in my canteen No human can hold me, the everlasting army Will I leave protection from danger, whether it's visible or unseen But tempted by nature for the lover for more than one queen The wilderness to take you in, trials to try to break you in The words has to find contentment in whatever state you in I'm struggling, I'm juggling, Trust Level is doubling, my temperament is third world and pour my pages bubbling. self governing my flesh is sweet, my spirit is subbing it. Insanity and waiting in the water that they troubling. Knee high, I see why it's so easy to drown. I'm up to my third eye and the tears of a clown. I need answers fast. I'm a bullet said tolerance. Let's make it even trade all my dollars for all your sins. It's false strength in this world for all things are possible, but God will never doubt yourself. Life don't stop at the birth. Although you start dying, you can sell and trade your worth while others they start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All I need is on that back I need a huge favor, like really big. See my dad over there? Mm -hmm. He's really lonely and he has no friends. Me and his car. 
That's it. Every day after school, I ride in his car and he talks about his job and his feelings. And I am so tired. I can't even stand it anymore. Because him and my mom don't talk because after the split. But then I see you in the store and you're a good candidate for him. Maybe you guys could talk. You mean two light skins together? <laughs> I don't know. But maybe you could talk to him, have a drink, take my spot. I mean, I will pay you a dollar every day, a dollar every ride. I don't know whatever I'm going to do. What are you doing, man? I'm now wingman of the year. The only one big guy. Is he bothering you? <laughs> no, he's actually quite convincing. Convincing about what? <laughs> he was just explaining to me how you don't have a girlfriend, you've been giving him a hard time lately, and how we should go on a date. What? <laughs> he said all of that? I promise. Uh, that little dude is something else. <laughs> like father, like son. My name is Danny. Everybody calls me Danny. All right. Pleasure to meet you, Danny. Likewise, Danny. That would mean I'm good for a date, right? Why is that? Nah, because light skin people, we got to stick together. They out together. You got me, you got you, you got Obama, you got Drake, Steph Curry. They trying to kill all of us, baby. We got to stay unified. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, I'm telling you, listen, Danny. Back in the 80s, a bunch of dark skin dudes, they got together. They formed a little secret society, and they said, hey, the mission was, let's get rid of El DeBarge. Because I bet you didn't know El DeBarge was a light-skinned pioneer. Mm. So, so they went to El DeBarge, ran him off the scene, and you ain't seen him for years at a time. All of a sudden, just to try to keep everything honest, they'll bring El DeBarge back for like a one or two BT show. And then you know what happened as soon as he finished performing? A bunch of dark-skinned dudes waiting behind the curtain, they rush him off. Go back in the hiding, light-skinned boy. Tell him, believe him. Soon after that happened, when they first got rid of the barge, they went and created Wesley Snipes' black ass. And they said, Wesley, you go over there and you punk the hell out of Crystal Williams in the New Jack City movie. And ever since then, it's been the great fall of the light-skinned man. We've been going down ever since. <laughs> it's scary. Wow. Big conspiracy. Wow. Big conspiracy, yeah. <laughs> now that you know what I know, come on and join the team. Let me protect you. The registration fee is just your phone number. That's it. The application fee, I'm going to waive that because you look like good people, so you don't have to worry about paying that. So what's up? And what makes you think that I need to be protected? I can definitely let you know after our first date. Interesting. Well, meet me at the register when you're done, and I'll give you my number. Mm. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, then. The room, Lord God, when she cock it up. Cali girls met me sing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say, can you see? Big body girl, big body girl, girl. Big body girl, I say, I get my girl to sing on me. Say, I'm not all up here tonight, baby. I'm not about to hear the when one found now the other one was over here before I knew it, the whole family would drop the kids off. <laughs> That's how our family do, boy. You know that. <sighs> and, boy. What's up, man? Where your boy Illuminati at? Man, fuck Illuminati. <laughs> but I thought we needed it to be good in business, though. Please, man. I done had a long day, man. Oh, I, man, I ain't gonna want to jump. I ain't with all that. I ain't gonna want to play. I don't understand why you so happy. Like, you usually walk around here like Malcolm X, Y, Z, like you just got out of the traffic court. Go ahead, man. Ain't nobody happy, man. I'm like this every day. What the hell you talking about? You know what? Uh, you didn't either found you a big booty black girl, or you'd have been on back page and got you a big booty white girl. I know that look, man. You can't fool me, man. Ain't nobody been on no damn back page, man. Come on with that bull, man. But, um, I mean, you know, I can't front. I did meet a girl today. It's about time, man. Because for real, I was starting to wonder about you. The hell are you talking about wondering about me? Because I thought... Prison messed you up. You ain't brought a girl here since the whole time we had the crib. <laughs> I started sleeping on my back in case you had a flashback. You love talking stupid, don't you, man? How is that stupid? What you mean, how that stupid? You man? used to be the man. Like, that's a valid point, man. I remember when you had all the cars. You had all the bars. Y'all was going out of town, coming back in. I thought you still had the juice. Thank you for the history lesson. 
But if you willing to shut up now, I can tell you about this girl I met today. Oh, you, you ain't got, got to tell me about no girl. If she gonna get you out of the dust, I would love to meet her. She might got a sister or something. You, maybe me, you, my girl, your girl, get together, double up or something. You know what I'm saying? Me, you, her, and Cheryl? Yeah, we do a double date or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess it can't hurt. But, uh, you know, I got to get the time right with her first, though. You know, let me get back with you, you know. But I'm, I'm, we probably can do something. I mean, that's what's up. We probably can do something. On a, on a serious note, though, cousin, I really need you to secure this venue for this comedy show, man. Like, I need it, man. You understand? Like, I got to pick my son up from detention home this week. I just had a newborn. You know, comedy the only thing I can do. Man. I ain't even gonna lie, like I ain't even good at nothing else. So I really need this, man. I feel you on that, bro. I ain't, I mean, all jokes aside, I feel you. And you can rest assured, man, I mean, you ain't the only one out here trying to do right and be a decent role model to your son, you know? I mean, I got just as much to lose on this thing as you. So I'm gonna tell you right now, you can rest your mind on that because I'm going to do whatever it takes to secure that venue. So all I'm going to need you to do after that is just be funny as hell. And we're going to make this thing work no matter what. You feel me? Good. It should work, man. now for security and I'll get you the other 1900 from the door. It doesn't work like that, Dad. You're already asking us for the door, the bar, and the food. If we can't get all our money up front, we can't do that, man. I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, you gotta take into consideration. I mean, it's a strong possibility that your event might not even pop like that. And if we let you pay us from the door, that's gonna leave us high and dry. What I'm saying, though, man, after all this money me and my boys spent in y'all clubs back in the days, you telling me you can't cut me a break? Well, thankful for all the money you and your boys spent in my club. Believe me. I mean, to be honest with you, now that I think about it, the club scene ain't been the same since the feds came through and swooped y'all niggas up. But this is business, Dad. Not nothing personal. Yeah, man. We gotta start making smarter business moves, man. That's gonna protect our interests. Okay. Okay. I guess I understand what you're saying. It's kind of like the past is the past and whatever I've done for you lately, right? I mean, I hate to say it to you of all people, but that kind of is what it is, man. I mean, but Darren, by the way, man, we don't need that money 12 hours before the event. I mean, that is if you still want to lock in the venue. Of course I still want to lock in the venue. Uh. Respect, dude, this be true and living. The king of kings, lord of lords, that's our true religion. Use my tongue as the sword, swift styles are given. The guard got a lot of bread, but don't feed the pigeons. My energy is guaranteed to boost metabolism. Burn the ism, then watch the way I ride the rhythm. Small frame, but the almighty heavy, though. I spit it like a chopper, hanging out a Chevy, though. You ain't ready, yo. Double-edged machete flow. Drag your sound like I broke the fucking levy, yo. My intense supreme. Nah, you look familiar, but I don't think I know you. Yeah, you know what? You didn't come to me. You never forget one thing, shit. Fuck, Roy. Fuck, Roy. How you doing? It's going. So, what's up, Dre? Because we're going to do business or what? Yeah, man, come here to do business. Make sure you're the phone, yeah? You know, I'm going to bring Sizzler, I'm going to bring Barry Allman, you know? That's a winner right there, Dre. I already know what you're gonna ask for, though, man. Bob. There's no way you're getting none of our money. You're taking no me now. <laughs> you know me now. <laughs> no, man, we know how y'all money niggas think. Get money. That, that boy is just lucky to get money? Yeah, he used to back in the day. He was always playing it low key. While all his boys was out there flexing like they had him, man. Oh, so you run with the crew? Did he run with the crew? Man, I think he was into any and everything back in the day. Oh, yeah, they was heavy. Matter of fact, Dredd, you was around in the Seventh City back in those days, man. You might know some of them niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> She 
set him just like Coltrane And I must think she's stupid scared crow with no brain A black widow, her website's my domain At least in her eyes, preaching to me like she's ordained Sweet as sugar cane, but always want me to explain But everything ain't black and white like chocolate and propane She claim I got her on the back burner with no flame It gotta be another chick, come on, this is so lame She wanna know where I'm spending all of my spare time And why I'm dressed up, getting as fly as an airline She knows this dirty laundry and demands that I air mine I item cactus jack do love and I'm mankind I'm living three lives along with three different females The truth ain't enough, you gotta have all the details She wanna know a reason, wanna know where did we fail She going through my phone and checking all of my emails Silly dudes will call me a pimp Look Darian, I don't got time for your small talk My husband will be here any minute And he do not take kindly to no strange man being in this house You talking about that old ass African dude? First of all, he is not that old and second, he is a doctor. And yes, I actually married him. You know, he saw my work and valued me enough to get down on one knee and pledge his loyalty to me. Unlike being like you and loyal to them streets. You dumbass friends and hoes of yours running all around. They didn't care nothing about you, me, or your son when you got locked up. All right, all right. Well, all I wanted to do was come here today to apologize to you. You apologize? For what? There are so many things that you gotta apologize for. I can't imagine where you'll start. Well, I realized that I left you in a tough spot out here. I can only imagine what it's like to put your life in somebody else's hands. And then they just up and disappear one day. Which is basically what I did when I went to prison. But at the same time, I gotta admit, when I stopped getting letters, and years went by and I didn't hear from you, I started to feel some kind of way about the fact that the penitentiary chances I was taking were living real good off. Nah, nigga, I did not tell you to go out there and sell drugs. They say think it over. All I ever want is for you to be home. They say think it over. I would have been with you if you worked at Burger King. They say think it over. You, you decided to go out there and sell drugs. Nothing. She say I don't love her. She don't know that it hurts. She think I'm the worst. Belong in the dirt. Yet I can't help her. Yeah, I'm the worst. Her emotions feed off me. I think she wanna hurt me. But now I keep hurting her, calling her names. Keeping her from a love that is untamed. Doing her some type of hope in her brain. The same thing in the mainframe. Emotionally breaking her down. Whenever she said, I just make her frown. I can't make her happy, so I just shut it down. I'm losing my life. And I think it's about to be a game over. I'm losing my mind. And I see why things are hard and never get closer. I'm losing my mind. Follow me, man. Yeah. I follow you, man. Make sure you, you look very really familiar when I see you, right? You used to run with that boy Josh Shabane, right? Josh Shabane? You know the name? Yeah, I know the name, man. Yeah. The last business we have with that boy, that boy owe me 300,000 things. Hey. Yeah, no, you owe me 300,000 things. I ain't got, what are you talking about, man? I ain't got nothing to do with you and Joshua. There ain't no 300 things. Look, I don't even deal with this life no more, man. You said one thing. You can either come work with me, you pay me back over time, 
Will you give me that 300,000 things now? Listen, man. What about the yeah, third option? Really Back up. Right. What's going on? Who's this? Back up, pussy. Nobody, son. Nobody. Uh, yeah. Go in the house with your mom, man, and I'll be back yeah. to pick you up in a couple days, okay? All right. Sure you want me to stay? Nah, nah, nah. You all right, big man. I'll talk to you later. Go to your mom. All right. All right, see you later. That's your youth? That's your youth? You see, I'm pretty youth, them. They don't want no one grieving over that youth, them. Threatening my son, man? Yeah, please. No, no back up, dog. I'll tell you one time. Back back up. Up. Yeah, please. I'm not going to no tell you again. threats. Back up. Me place no threats, you hear me? Yeah. But you know, what we can do with that? We got a comedy show them Saturday, eh? We got four tickets. I see you Saturday, you give me that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a standard procedure. Fuck a nigga down with me nine millimeter. You just crack you by the name of Peter. Him no like we, we no like him either. I would not lose, so me hit them with the ether. Fling down me sound, bring it right to your speaker. Bass in your face, me no deal with no tweeter. Just fatigue, shorts, and a fresh white beaker. We all the way. So she dancing for me Big B In her red dress Red dress My girl in the red dress She whining Her legs strong I'm the one she reclining She made me act like a Shirley who blinding Slow wine girlfriend when I'm grinding Me not go leave her Feed her and breed her Me not go grease her Me meet her and feed her Treat her like fresh meat Me sick lock and freeze her Keep her in bandage like my name was Caesar Move it up to the list Move it up to the trouble. Every man say they want peace, so they want peace of the trouble. So how's your day been? It's fine. How about yours? Yeah, I mean, I had a couple rough patches, but uh, you know, it's looking better now. <laughs> so what is so important that you cannot tell me what's wrong? First of all, we need to discuss. Is this what you wear every time you go to the laundromat? You mean to tell me you wash clothes dressed like this? I was just coming from work. I need to get a job at that clothing store. Now. That's what I need to do. So, anyway, what's so important? Damn, you're like a lawyer. Get the pressure on me. <laughs> well, since you're calling me out, I'm just going to come clean. Uh, since I met you yesterday, basically, I haven't been able to get you off my mind. So... You know, I wanted to come out and see you face to face. So that was so important. Yeah. Have you ever seen yourself smile? <laughs> you must have seen yourself smile. That's what I'm thinking. You can't get the full effect of this on FaceTime or over the phone. <laughs> so I definitely want to be here in person to see this smile. conversation we had in the clothing store yesterday mm -hmm. about the little date situation I come to cash in so I'm wondering if you're gonna go out with me tomorrow night but it's gonna be a double date me you my cousin and his girl so it'll be a lot of fun though they're good people I'm good people you're good people fun time with a bunch of good people you know what I mean a double date yeah double date okay Okay, as you coming? Damn. That was easy. You might as well give me a hug. Then. No. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's all I get? Okay. You don't gotta go.
Facts. What's up, homie? Yeah, it's Darren. Yeah, long time no see. Hey, um, y'all still be having them games around there? Still got that? Take the city, pop boy. Uh, ain't nothing going on but the rent. Talk fast, came and went, pockets full of lint. Fuck a receipt, cause I ain't spit shit. This price is weighed off like 50 cent pitch. Where that water at? Yo, I feel oh, that. Be back, brother. Be back, brother. I'm trying to eat good. So you still run the same game. Got your cards, play a choice, right? You got your dominoes, you got your pool, you got your dice, what you been doing all your life. Well, you know, tonight I can't play favors. I gotta get it for whatever I'm hitting for tonight. You pinch or something? Uh, yeah. Like a $2,000 hole by tomorrow. Oh shit, that ain't nothing. You, you shooting dice, you shooting all your life. <laughs> well, you remember that? Been shooting since I was ten, and in my mind, shaking them and throwing them like riding a bike. So that's what I came to do. All right, bro, well, I'm gonna let you get to it, you know. And what we we'll talk about, we we'll talk about that later. Okay, okay. Two and D, two and D, two and D, two and D. Um, is that super flip over there? Yeah, man, that nigga be back here and be trying to hustle up some shit. Yeah, what happened to his old hustle? I mean, Shady Rest days, he had it 5 and 24 7. Yeah, well, nowadays all he do is talk about Bush, Obama, social media, rappers, the fucking other pimping game. I mean, I can see the first three, but what the rappers got to do with it? Man, shit, you go in that match, bro. I don't know. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Alright. Hey, yo, Super Pimp! What's up, nephew? I hear you be uh, claiming that the rappers messed up the pimp game. What's up with that? Oh, young blood. You ain't got to work at Nassau to see these jive turkeys ain't gonna be a star. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. I knew when the first time I heard of these jive turkeys talking about it and tricking if you got it. Right. I turned on the stock market channel and seen right. that Dow Jones was down 200. Nah. No. S&P was down 20. What? And the pimp industry in the hole was down 413 points. That's all in one day. No way. I ain't even checked the NASDAQ because I ain't checked the trap that day. Man, it was damn near a global market crash all in one day, young blood. Okay, okay, okay. I see your point when you put it like that, then. What's going on with you, though, baby? Man, I like the way you look, man. I'm just depending on how they fit. You know what? Okay. Crack talk, crack talk. Crack talk. I ain't going home till I get this back off. I ain't stuck in two days. Same clothes. Only time I leave the block is when I hit the stove. Homie, this that crack talk, crack talk. I ain't going home till I get this back off. I ain't stuck in two days. Same clothes. Only time I leave the block is when I hit the stove. Happen at the bottom. The basement the cellar. Lost the dog. Got it bad like Stella. Point eight four. Rock, I'm beating the walk of color. When it's work, we dump kids. It's nothing you can tell us. We like D-block fans. We waiting on the locks. Shocking, watch it change from a jail to a rock. It ain't the oldest time when I'm heading to the box. Just to calculate my exes or the little bit I lost. Cook it up and came back. Dump but a beige. Seen Smitty take a 50 to the air like a fade. Iron shelf in the flesh. Left my kitchen a mess. Dale Earnhardt, know how I whip it the best. Oh, but it's that crack song. Yeah. Crack song. Yeah. I ain't going home till I get this back off. I ain't stuck in two days. Yo, yo, same clothes. Only time I lead up, know it when I hit the and some respect. That damn super pimp was bleeding on every set. Yeah? Pimp again don't pick up for them. You gotta get a job. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, but uh, house man percentage still the same, right? Come on, cuz. Don't talk me like that. You know your money ain't good with me. Well, I appreciate it, cousin, because lately I need every penny I can get. So on the phone, you said you had a problem. All right. Well, um, what can you tell me about a 
roster kid running around here that's, I think he do shows at Franks and Leroy's. Shows? Yeah. You know I don't know about them shows, so I'm in the street. You gotta give me more to go on from that. All right, well, what can you tell me about a roster that used to do business with Josh Bang on the mid-grade level? Oh, you talking about Shaq? Yeah, he been around for years. So with that being said, what can you tell me about this dread kid? Oh, well, the dread, he came through about 15 years ago with the Jamaicans. You know, they were doing all that Kelly Newport news. You know, mm -hmm. they know it was on the news. I know you remember that. Vaguely, yeah, but vaguely. Yeah, but when it got happened, you know, he came across on this side where we at. You know, he, he tried to stay low. He was low, but he still was putting dudes on dudes if they ain't got right. Well, what was up with him and Josh Bain then? Well, Josh Bain, he fronted Josh Bain about 200 pounds. He brought home that real low. Next thing you know, Josh Bain came in with a thousand of them. And they're playing the rob and they hand lay him down. Yeah, that sound like the Josh I know. I mean, man, Josh had stash houses, safe houses, and he had the top girl house. Like, top three girl houses. <laughs> yeah, so let me guess. That's when Josh Bain disappeared. Ain't the same sense. And that's where my problem come in at, right there. What do you mean? Earlier today, I bumped into the kid. He ran up on me with a couple of other dreads. He trying to tell me that since me and Josh was boys, I got to wear the bill now. So, you know, then after that, he followed me around for the rest of the day. I mean, I just recently lost him and got him off my tail. Do you know anybody who care about living at work? Yeah, you do. You got a problem, brother. Man, why would a man trying to do right out here he just can't do nothing wrong? It always just seemed like something pulling on me, man, trying to get me back into something. Look, bro, I don't mean to be all insensitive and shit, but this man ain't from the goddamn little era now. These skinny jeans and those niggas wearing dresses. This man from the old school. He like you. If you old, you go. Damn, bro. Tired of this life, man. I, I don't even want no more parts of this, man. I ain't come home for this right here. I feel you, bro. Like I said, don't get it twisted. You got wolves too. I can make some calls on your behalf when you give me your okay. Show rough and feel cold. Yeah, happy hour, hit it, see in the sour. Nigga, this how nigga live though. You already know. Let's go. Rough the guard, yeah, you already know. We don't press rewind, yeah, we only fast forward. Bad up the creek, like you know how we do it. You already know. Let's go. Rough the guard, yeah, you already know. We don't press rewind, low, we only fast forward. Man, the creek, like you know how we do it. You already know. Oh man, homie, go. it's unexplainable. I want some flammable. Read the warning sticker. I'm from the Middle East, and that's Virginia Beach. Well, it's important to keep a hustle within your reach. And this style, I can't be too far from that. The money circulating, that's where my heart is at. I don't bang a six. I don't. Man, all I'm saying is, if you don't bite the apple, be prepared to be apple. That's all I'm saying, Bob. That's all I'm saying. So, it's on you. When you see him fall with these little leaves, walk around here with these little leaves, when Eve, when Eve gets you, that's what's gonna happen. You've been teaching him this on the Bible, man. You know, we have our little one on one Bible studies or whatever. You know, we gotta have that, we gotta do that. And I agree with y'all to a certain extent, because a lot of it makes sense. If you solve together, you got to keep together. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how our family was. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So ain't nothing new. But at the end of the day, how can you really trust a person that does not have a relationship with God? Like, how can you? For me, personally, it's impossible. 
Right. That's just the way I live, man. I gotta be able to let down my guard, trust a person enough to let a person in here and be myself at all times. Mm -hmm. Look, everybody wanna be they self. Matter of fact, everybody wanna be they self, but not by they self. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, you got no choice in prison, but yeah, I feel what you're saying. So, that's what I'm saying. If you did what you did before you went in, and she don't ride with you, that show a lot about her character. You are a sir. True indeed. Matter of fact, because look, I read this book a while ago by this lady named Corey Timbo. Mm -hmm. She say something to the effect of, I don't want to mess it up, but she say something like, eventually soulmates find each other because they have the same hiding place. <laughs> right. So at the end of the day, uh, where's your hiding place? Where you hiding at? Because mm -hmm. wherever you hide at, nine times out of ten, she gonna be hiding in the same place. Well, I'm hiding from the feds. You hiding from the feds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on, baby? Hey, hey, man, what is this? Light skin brother convention, y'all was straight, big train account. I think I've been seeing you for months now. And you've covered quite a bit of ground. But you know, I've been wondering. Can I ask you a personal question? Off the record? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Why is it that you think the mother of your child ended up in a place so dark that she created this opportunity to have your son taken away from you? That's a good question. Unfortunately, I can't answer that. You do know this woman, right? After all, she is the mother of your child. Yeah, but... She isn't hardly the same person she was when I first had met her, though. You mean that woman that was once full of optimism, life, and potential that was out of this world? Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess you could say that. The point I'm striving to make is that in order for you, or any black man for that matter, to truly appreciate and cherish a black woman, first understand what she's had to endure in order to survive, in order for our race to survive. Are you aware that no other race of woman on this planet has gone through what black women have gone through? I don't, I, I don't understand what you're trying, what are you saying, what are you saying? I don't, I don't really understand. Look, I mean, we can take this thing back to an even darker period of time when black women were being raped. It didn't matter to the so-called master if she was somebody's mother or wife or sister or even daughter. Because at that time, it wasn't a goddamn thing a black man could do about it. But now, there's something you can do about it. You, sadly, many just like you, have chosen to take on the way of that same master and rape your woman of her self-esteem and dignity. Further perpetuating this self-hatred and negative thoughts of our bodies not being good enough or not being pretty enough. And as a result, many of our black sisters are destroying both their mental and physical with the hope of attaining this false image of perfection, which you and I both know is a lie. Without the black man, there's no black babies. There's no black nation. There's no future. Think they gonna show up, Cuzzo? Yeah, hey, they know you with me. They be here. Even after 10 years being gone?
Shit, man, your name still ring out. Sleeping with the lock and niggas who be stunning do a whole lot of faking. Whole lot of grace from the moves they be made. Tight hitch and take it. These niggas shaky. They won't be satisfied till they whole life takes. So shorty knew where he lived. Niggas raided the crib. But homie kept him some goonies that really do handle big. But damn, they go to trap. Yeah, got rid of that. Kick in a couple doors. He figured he'd get it back. He figured he'd get it black. Used to hit him with packs. Mostly niggas is mans. He knew right where it was. same time, I mean, each one of them, they're either going away from us, 
or they're a shell of them former selves due to age or what have you, right? Well, I'm willing to guarantee that any and every single one of these people on this wall, if given the opportunity, they would jump to chase the ghost of them former selves just so they could be that legend again, you know what I mean? Okay. I can understand that. But at the same time, these people have made great accomplishments in their lives. And they have changed the world in a very unique way. That's my point exactly, though. That's what I'm saying. I mean, what does it say if you have a person that's looked at to be, let's say, a legend like these people, under the same magnitude? But yet, this person looked at as a legend but somehow this person, he can care less about chasing that former ghost of himself. I mean, what's that all about? That just means they didn't love themselves enough to become that legend. No be girl, every since I was knee high. Compromise if you love her, give her compliment. When she cook, you should taste the sex excellent. She loves me, I love her, vice versa. Compromise, my nigga, I don't curse her. Compromise with me, and I will compromise with you. And everything that you need, you know I'll give the world to you. Compromise with me, and I will compromise with you. Congratulate you, man, on how you're doing with them boys, man. That's really rare in this community out here like that. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I seen what you had wrote on Facebook, but mm -hmm. the social media was like to take a village to raise, what you said, to raise a, raise raise a child. Raise a child? Right. Yeah, of course. It's a, you know, the only reason I can speak on that because I am a product of a village raising a child where, you know, everybody in the neighborhood took accountability for what the child did, you know, oh, because the parents were trying to do right. So nobody was, you know, mad because somebody corrected their discipline their child, you know. Gotcha. I just want to let you know, it's that's good, man. I applaud you for that. Bro. You think that's really rare? You know, my yeah. cousin, my cousin Darren, doing the same thing. Well, yeah. I mean, that's your family said, and that's good that your family was had a set of morals that they set up. Right. You feel me? That's a, that's sort of a the village raising child is sort of like nation building. You feel me? Right. I can dig it. Yeah, I can dig it. I can see that. It's mm -hmm. deep, man. You always drop knowledge on me, man. Hey, man, I try to do what I do, man, but I ain't heavy. I'm just your brother. True, true. Man, can I, uh, I can get a bow tie from you, sir? Yeah, man, what color you want? I got plenty. Mm, blue one, man. Okay, you holler at me, man. When we get done, I got you. Can I get a bald head, too? <laughs> you don't want no bald head, boy. No, I don't want no bald head. Never miss it. Top of game, flexing full of ninjas. My clip, we look like some ninjas. 
Why can't we look like some ninjas? Got that mass, mass ninja. Just the black, black nigga. Why can't they look like some ninjas? My team ain't got supervision. See, you ain't doing few for boy. That's why the squad always winning. My team, they look like them digits. Yeah, nigga, we on a mission. Money be making our entry. Best believe that we bitch. Got that mass, mass ninja. Can't count them rats, rats with us. It ain't no slash land with us. We dress in black, black nigga. And my clique, they full of otaku. If I shoot the signal, they follow. My name ain't Makoma, Akoma. And if I shoot the distance, lead it, they hollow. Woo! My clique, we look like some ninjas. My clique, we look like some ninjas. Dress in black, black nigga. Got the mass, mass ninja. My clique, we look like some ninjas. My clique, we look like some ninjas. Dress in black, black nigga. Got that mass, mass ninja. Poppin', 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 piss. Brush a nigga off like a prison. Top of gang shooter never miss. Top of gang flexin' full of ninjas. My clip, we look like some ninjas. My clip, we look like some ninjas. Got that mass, mass ninja. Just a black, black nigga. Black on black on. Like a ninja, reaper. How my golden knife fell out? These motherfuckin' beaners smoking on that Wiz Khalifa. So I'm laughing at the world Wiz Khalifa. Look how much Rex in this, I keep me some hoes on my dick. White, just a consumer. I'm a star on that bait, 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 bait. I'm a ape. First in the motherfuckin' pepper, me and my weed like loud, 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 like a riot. Keep on my dick, now I'm screaming like light, like a riot. Terry, the do bitch. Show me your tits like we sitting and sitting and watching that jail be unspray, dog. I warm it up like it's the spray, uh. Taking her soul, fuck her, her motherfucking spleen, ah. Uh. Fuck up a spleen. I'm so clean, little bitch, you address me, ask me, stay clean. Because I nigga so clean, shit on your whole team. You gon' need some sharp and Black on 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 black my clip, we look like some ninjas. Got that mass, mass ninja. Just a black, black nigga. What I need to see this for, man? I told y'all I ain't want nothing out of it, man. Yeah. Just get them off my ass, that's all I said, right? You heard you, bro, loud and clear. Before we found out how heavy this red kid really is, bro. Hey. Yeah, plus on top of that, we was figuring, since you know what we know, then you ain't got no choice but to help us out, bro. Help y'all out. By turning that song to them clothes you used to have, man. Straight up. Cause we done did our research on the dread nigga already. Basically, this shit ain't nobody. What the hell you talking about, cuz? You know about these dread head kids. They're supposed to be some type of Rasta, Mafia, Don type nigga in down there in Kingston. What? Yeah, bro. So, we already know, bro. They gonna do their research just like we did our research. Trail gonna lead right back to you, cuz. And that's what they gonna send in Jamaica up there and try to kill everything you love, my nigga. Hey. With that being said, you know like I know. If you go to war, you need to get your bread right first. Cuz you gonna help us out or what? in america how does it feel to be black in america i keep it real because i'm black in america i'm black in america we black in america black in america 
black in America How does it feel to be black in America I keep it real cause I'm black in America I'm black in America We black in America Who run the blacks to America Then crack to America Then drop guns in the head now it's Iraq In America it's war on my people Yo we can never be equal We the lost tribe of Judah They the sins of the evil The president's black so they say racism's over Tell that nigga pulled over getting shot In the shoulder getting shot In the stomach getting shot In the face Lock and charge the cop Nope, cause they always beat the case It's about to be a big leap for man I Ain't lying And 10 steps back in them caves Grafting mankind Searching, putting work in my pocket That ain't mine Man, he lying Destroying our life Taking our culture at the same time Men's portrayed that we lazy So the world think it's fine When a black soul is lifted Physical land, they're dying Laughing at that black mother When she's laying there crying They justify the murder Saying he just committed a crime Got people like Stacey Bass Getting on her own time America was built on the backs of the black And that ain't no fairy tale of Riley Yo, that's actual fact They say we stuck at the bottom Black trap with these problems yeah, we spot them, yeah, we got them in the seventh city Got them looking, searching for a way Then we turn to yesterday In the same game we play Digging for that bigger pay What you working with? Swift and then Mr. Carfield Go with this sick brain and it's politics Politics, staying in my lane They the biggest game, not the kiss Seeing who you ride with Girl, you're over on the strip Better think quick, better be legit And it's this, or the same bullshit Be the next new script Not the world star, worldwide Pull this little car Yeah, we came a long way Cause we travel so far But them stars in them stripes It's bigger than black and white The baby's crazy with fight Not fright, spread your wings Kings and queens take flight We on the edge of the night Party for our right to fight Yeah, we fight for our right Black in America Black in America what take is this? Uh, take 39. <laughs> 30. Take 39. Take 39. keep fucking up. Take 20. You just say take 20. You just take 20. You just say take 20. You just say 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 20. You just let this man burn his meat off me. Cut. Stay there. Stay there. Do a couple of the farts real quick. You got it still running, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like, crazy guy. Give him the a couple of those. You ready? Right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. There's three rules with me, right? Okay. One, I don't like you. Uh, two, I'm not here to like you. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, you fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, shit. This shit will be harder than that thought. <laughs> this shit will be harder than that thought. <laughs> this shit will be harder than that thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be easy, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. Okay. All right, I got it, man. I got it. I got it. How you doing, my name? Get that one up myself. I had to get that one up myself. He took that three rooms. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> uh, okay, but my fault. <laughs> Alright, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get my smoking on right, man. Yo, man, you gonna get us kicked out of here, man. What are you doing, man? I stayed the night here last night. Wait, come on, man. How'd you get on the way out? I stayed the night here. I've been working out for a minute, man. I know you got it. Goddamn, go on here and show me some love. Don't be like, you know me. Look, I see this little shirt you got. Don't on. get you one of these. Stay humble. You need a, a bigger one anyway. I can see your heartbeat. I can see your pulse, man. Go on, take that one, man. Stay humble, man. Hold on. Man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so. All right. Now. Did you give me that, that urinalysis sample that I asked for? Sir, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, no, it's not. I want to see you urinate. You know, on, sir. they uh, say Negroes have big cocks anyway. Probably can just pull your pants leg up and pull people.
Nigeria, it will go down right now. Drive by. Elephant back. Right now. My niggas ride for me and I ride for my nigga. I'm sorry. I don't think I had a straw, yo. You almost made me lose it. My nigga, my rider. Uh, listen, man, I just came to talk about my son, man. <laughs> hey, you be talking right there, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, get that position right. All right. Yeah, it, you know, let's start from when he was when he's trying to block you off. Right. When he's trying to block you. Yeah. And then um. Just try not to block him from the camera, because like, you know, when, so when you're talking. You, you gotta actually try not to block yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're moving. Don't let him block you. Don't let him block you from the camera. You know what I'm saying? Knock me off, but don't get in front of me so the camera can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too much right there, man. You talking to one man? You know what I'm saying? Who said be animated? Yeah, come on, man. He ain't say be stupid. He ain't say be animated. That's stupid. Ball, ball. <laughs> All right, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Right. <laughs> See, come over to look with the light over here. <laughs> Nigga, stop this. Me, he's trying to start to drink me a drink when I say hour. They be like, whoa. He made a nigga do that shit. He made a nigga do that shit. Yo, that takes short time. Alright, come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm to hit that shit. Salam smoking, man. That's some foul shit y'all doing over there. Walk off in the middle of the street. Alright, so, like, when you. See my dad over there? He's, like, really, really uptight. And he doesn't get out much. And my mom, she doesn't want to. Crazy side, so they don't really talk anymore. So he kind of needs a date, and I see you in the store. You're a good candidate, so maybe you should talk to him, go on a date, give him some pleasure, because he's kind of lonely. If you, if you know what I'm saying. What's up, bro? That Tito, man. Yeah, hey, yo, oh. he's, he's killing that, though. <laughs> oh. I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> the the that pleasure was wrong. Are you ready? C26 take 8. Alright. Action. Hey bro, I, I thought you stopped the um the ship what's your hand? Ship the other mechanic job. Could you still look like you change motors with your chair? No, sir. God, you gonna laugh? Right there, man. <laughs> that? You had a big ass right. And you try to, you try to hit it. He never told me. He never told me. I was all laughing. No doubt. Then it failed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim. Got he it. had a way on his face over here. <laughs> Are you all good? Yeah, we good. Thank you. You got a black ass nigga back there or something like that? I think you looking at her braids. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Step back out. Step back out. Step back out. Ain't no way that's gonna work. Black ass nigga back. I have no idea. Like, <laughs> you know, black ass, I've been to this black ass drink, like. I've been to this black ass drink. Don't stop, Steve. Alright, come on. You ready? You ready? You ready? Here we go. You ready? Go ahead. Action. Can I? Come on, fellas. Let me get you the 600 now for security, and I'll get you the 1900 from the door. It doesn't work like that, Darren. You're already asking for the door, the bond, and the crew. We can't get all our money up front. We can't do that. Yeah, bro. You gotta take into consideration, man. It's a strong possibility that your event might not even pop like that. If we let you pay us from the door, that might leave us high and dry. Don't worry about my character. That's my time to talk, though. What the fuck are you doing? That's my character, bro. Are you ready? Right. Start from the top. Start from the top. Where we going from? No, 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 stop. Where you going? Sorry. From the top, from the top. Here we go. From the top. Action. Look, it's like. Dragon, what am I here? Dragon, sit down right here. They move to the rim. Once he sit down. Yeah, that's good. Closer the better. What's up, man? Closer, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. I wanna bite your titty, bite your titty. Come on, girl, let me bite your titty, bite your titty, bite your titty. Come on, girl, let me bite your titty. Yeah, listen up to my lyrics. In the movie, they can call me Uncle Eric. I see they cut me off. I gotta go, but I wanna bite your titties. My mama told me so. Holla. Yes, sir. Get over Wayne Rounds and bite titties. New single coming out in January. Bite your titties. Give it up away, we have some new single coming out about your titties for the mixtape. I'm a rape you. <laughs> they ain't say squeeze the nipples, they wanna bite the whole thing. Don't nobody bite that shit. <laughs> this is gonna bite the titty. <laughs> Not squeeze your butt. Not play you. <laughs> bite your titty. You like pain.
Know this is gonna come to your mind when you in the car. Guess what it's gonna be? Bite your titty. <laughs> you gonna be with your old girl? Like, I wanna bite your titty. <laughs> That's one of those songs you like, man, I hate this fucking song. Bite your titty. Bite your titty. <laughs> Shit catches the bitch. You like, man, I just wanna bite your titty. <laughs> <sighs> Man, shit, I can't with this shit. All right, I'm done, man. Hey, Marlo, play some music. <laughs> Thank y'all again for coming out here. <laughs> this nigga got me weak for real, bro. I can't breathe. I want to bite your titty. <laughs> what if a female had a song like that? Let me bite your balls. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't like spitting balls, bitch. <laughs> I can't. It's over, man.